Well, hello, hello, beloved, the ones chosen, blessed, increased, full of the life of God. Thank you. Thank you for walking with me in all these um, new things, right? The eighth day, the new things. I got something very powerful today, something that um, I'm passionate about. Probably I'm passionate about all this new creation stuff. But in verse 23, it's it says something. So we, we, we talk about the A day, the, the, the day where the new creation is manifested. It's starting a new series, a new Genesis. So in uh, Revelation 21, verse 23, it says, The city has no need of the sun, nor of the moon to illuminate it, for the glory of God illuminated it, and its lamp is the Lamb. So, it's almost like it's going and rolling back, like I read in, we read in Revelation 6. It's rolling back the old creation. She could have said, the city has the light of God. But it wants to make it clear that does not need the sun nor the moon. Why? Because those were the ones responsible for the light. Right? They were the rulers of the day and of the night. They were responsible for the light. And now it says, uh uh, we do not need the created light. Now we are the light. And Jesus said that you are the light of the world. I am the light. So he is talking of a different type of light. The light that was spoken, let it be light. It's one type of light, but somehow it's rolling back. Even that, in the new creation, it says that God and the Lamb are the light. The glory of God illuminates that. The glory becomes light. The glory becomes light. See, we don't just shine the light. We are the light. We are the light. Sons of light. And even more in the verse 24, it, it talks about the fact that they would walk, nations shall walk by means of its light. Light. Kings of earth bring their glory into it. Its gates shall by no means be locked during the day, for night shall not be there. It even reverses the day and the night. <laughs> I think day four. Day five was with the sea creatures and sea, and he says there's going to be no sea. <laughs> we know already we have a new, the second man. 
it is a new earth and a new heaven <laughs> now keeps keeps rolling back keeps rolling up and now it gets the first day about the light you know the rolling <laughs> from the end to the beginning it says it's not gonna it's not gonna need the light so what is this light so I, I wanna I wanna take you in again in the Gospel of John um, because it talks about this different type of lights and it says um, in John chapter 1 verse 3 all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made and then he says in him was life and the life was the light of man see the difference between the created light that maintain life and the the new light the new creation light is that the new creation light it's actually life it's alive don't think it's a big generator in heaven and just kind of lights up all the you know auditorium and the streets of gold they have all kind of lights and street lights no it's a living light it's a living being it's alive in him was life eternal life and that eternal life was the light when he says we are the light of the world is because we have eternal life the life is the light and here's another thing verse 5 here in John 1 the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome or comprehend it. Remember in the days of creation? Here is the light. Here is the dark. Here is the sun. Here is the moon. Everyone has its own work to do. But right now, this type of light shines in the darkness there is not the light of the day and the light of the night no it's only one type of light the living light the living light truth and then he talks again talks about john the baptist and he says in verse 8, he was not that light. I mean, he was shining lots of light. He was speaking in the light. He was talking about the light. He was not that light. Was sent to bear witness of that light. Because that light was the true light the light of truth which gives light to every man coming into the world remember how jesus says i'm the true vine it's almost like there were first vines or uh, previous <laughs> but i'm the true vine i'm the true light there was some light before but he is the true light do you see the substance of eternal life this is what's happening 
in the new creation. It's a the a day. It's a day of substance. What's happening with us cannot be comprehended by anything else. We we grew, we developed, we um, um, experienced the growth of the seed with all the generations. But when this is coming up, it's almost from a different realm. I want you to see that. It's a true light. You are the light. You don't go in a place and try to say some enlightening things to people. You go in a place and you are the light. I mentioned this to you before. I'm not sure if you guys listen to um, all of those experiences. But I remember um, the, the place where I entered, I, or I moved from the fivefold prophetic, which I absolutely love and I, I think it's necessary. But I was walking in this uh, prophetic and I was in a place in the world and I was invited to minister in a church where the, the pastor, the leader, was a prophet and a good prophet and just heard from him things that he would come and receive from the Lord and uh, was overwhelming. And um, I was talking to the Lord because um, it's like this guy is going to check me out and it's like well let's see how much prophetic Val has <laughs> how how deep of a prophet what he's going to tell us that I don't know already right? or I don't tell my church already um, and I was I, I was talking to the Lord and I was asking what what do you have me to say and give me a word show me how can I minister to these people and then I heard the Lord so clearly and that was so important for me at that season where he says when when people that hear me deliver the word the prophets they speak my words and I give them my words to speak but I'm not sending you to speak my words I'm sending you to be my words you see why it really shook me <laughs> And of course, I enter rest. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't care that much, you know, what the prophets are gonna say, what the apostles are gonna judge, and what the teachers are gonna express. Um, because I knew that in the new creation, what he's doing with us, it's the being. He's doing the being <laughs> you don't just shine the light you are the light it's more than Genesis 1 it's more than the first creation we came from the realm of our father to bring something so new so powerful it is a new creation we are the light